What's it really like to live as Malaysia's richest king? We're exploring the extravagant life of Malaysia's richest king, Sultan Ibrahim Ismail. From his royal duties and impressive military background to his lavish lifestyle and major business ventures, this look reveals both his public and private lives. This is going to be a fascinating journey. Our team dug into detailed sources like the Business Times and Business Insider to reveal his impressive wealth, showcasing his grand living and economic power. So, who is this king that I'm talking about? Sultan Ibrahim's influence reaches far beyond his wealth. Recently appointed as Malaysia's king for the next five years, his role might seem unconventional to some. Unlike other monarchies, Malaysia's system rotates between the heads of nine royal families every five years, a practice established after the country gained independence. He took his oath of office on October 27, 2023, in a grand ceremony at the palace, dressed in royal blue ceremonial attire. He has been the ruler of Johor since 2010, overseeing a state with a population of over 4 million, making it the second most populous state in Malaysia. His heritage is a blend of Malay and British ancestry. His father, Sultan Iskandar Ismail, ruled Johor for nearly 30 years and also served as the King of Malaysia in the late 1980s. He was married to Raja Zarath Sophia, a member of Perak's royal family. She is an art enthusiast and author of four children's books. They have six children, including one daughter and five sons. Ibrahim is deeply connected to his children, particularly proud of his eldest son, Tunku Ismail, who was recently appointed as the Regent of Johor. Tunku Ismail is also the president of the Johor Darul Tazim Football Club, one of the most successful teams in Malaysia, a club that Ibrahim avidly supports. He received a well-rounded education, studying in Malaysia and attending a military school in the United States. He is the commander-in-chief of the Johor Armed Forces, reflecting his strong military background. His training includes completing special forces courses in the U.S., where he undertook 19 parachute jumps, half of which were at night. He earned the Green Beret and Wings and is also a member of the U.S. Navy SEAL team. Let's now explore his luxury lifestyle and expensive things that he owns. He is known for his love of luxury, which sets him apart from the British royals, who prefer a more understated approach. Unlike them, Ibrahim lives large and makes sure everyone knows it. His Instagram account, with nearly 1 million followers, is filled with photos and videos showcasing his impressive collection of luxury vehicles. These include a 1980 Ferrari Testarossa. This is an iconic 1980s sports car, distinguished by its wide stance and sharp lines, including the signature cheese grater side strakes. It features a 4.9-liter flat-12 engine producing around 390 horsepower, paired with a 5-speed manual transmission. This setup allows it to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 5.2 seconds and reach a top speed of 180 miles per hour. The Testarossa combines a luxurious interior with precise handling thanks to its mid-engine layout, independent suspension, and ventilated disc brakes. Its aerodynamic design and 16-inch Pirelli tires enhance stability and grip, making it a standout example of 1980s Ferrari engineering. He also has pink Rolls Royce. They are a rare sight, showcasing the brand's commitment to custom luxury. Each car features a unique paint job that can range from soft pastels to bright fuchsias, with a glossy finish that highlights the vehicle's elegance. Inside, you can expect a luxurious interior with high-quality leather, plush carpets, and matching or contrasting stitching and embroidery. The latest technology is included such as a top-notch infotainment system, advanced driver assistance features, and customizable interior lighting. Rolls-Royce's expert craftsmanship is evident in every detail, from hand-stitched leather to carefully crafted wood accents. Personalization options are extensive, allowing for special touches like monogrammed headrests, custom trim, or unique dashboard designs, making each pink Rolls-Royce truly one of a kind. His passion for transportation extends beyond cars. He has a particular fondness for superbikes, regularly organizing annual motorcycle rides in Johor. These events not only fuel his love for bikes, but also attract tourists and raise funds for those in need. The Sultan himself often joins these rides on his preferred Harley-Davidson. 
Additionally, he holds the unique distinction of being licensed to drive a train, a feat that earned him a spot in the Malaysian Book of Records. When it comes to making a grand entrance, he spares no expense. His fleet of private jets includes three Gulf Streams and a stunning golden blue Boeing 737. During his inauguration, he flew from Johor to the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur, in this very aircraft, making an unforgettable impression. With such extravagant wealth, he is considered one of the richest men in Malaysia. His collection spans over 300 cars, featuring everything from a truck resembling Optimus Prime to a wooden car inspired by the Flintstones. Remarkably, all his vehicles share the same license plate, TMJ standing for Tunku Makota Johor, which means Crown Prince of Johor. Among his collection is a 1936 Mercedes once owned by Adolf Hitler, gifted to Sultan Ibrahim's great-grandfather during World War II. His official residence is in Astana, Bukit Serin. It's a symbol of Sultan Ibrahim's immense wealth. Its crown-shaped entrance exemplifies the grandeur and royal luxury associated with his family. Remarkably, he also maintains a private military force known as the Royal Johor Military Force, underscoring his unique status. His wealth is officially estimated at a staggering $5.7 billion, though many believe his actual fortune far exceeds this figure. Despite his royal stature, he remains down to earth, frequently dining with his family at local restaurants. Aside from being the king of Malaysia, what are his business ventures? When Ibrahim isn't occupied with royal responsibilities, he steps into the role of a businessman, investing in private companies and real estate. However, this approach raises concerns as the country's constitution explicitly states that the king must not engage in any commercial enterprises. Ibrahim and the Johor family's business activities appear to conflict with these constitutional restrictions. Former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has openly criticized the family, arguing that their involvement in business could unfairly influence the Malaysian people. This concern is understandable, as mixing royal authority with business interests can lead to potential conflicts of interest. Despite the ongoing political controversies surrounding him, he continues to have a strong presence across various sectors. He owns a significant 24% share in U-Mobile, a major cellular service provider in Malaysia, showing his influence in the telecommunications field. His investment portfolio is extensive, with about $588 million invested in both private and public companies, highlighting his diverse investment approach. In the energy sector, he has a notable 40% stake in Maharani Energy Gateway, an oil and gas company based in Johor. This substantial investment reinforces his role in the energy market and adds to his economic impact. His real estate investments are equally impressive. He has put around $4 billion into land development projects in Singapore. This ambitious project is planned to be half the size of Manhattan and is expected to cost about $100 billion when completed. If successful, this development could boost the royal family's public image and provide a strategic advantage amidst the political challenges in Malaysia. Ibrahim's investment portfolio is valued at $1.1 billion, fueled by substantial cash flow from shares and real estate transactions. Whether admired or criticized, one thing is certain. Ibrahim has a keen ability to generate wealth. And that's a wrap on the amazing life of Malaysia's richest king. From his incredible luxury to his big business deals, it's clear that his life is anything but ordinary. If you enjoyed this look into his world, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic stories and insights.